Hey guys, I got a new uh, series which is just quick tips. I'm gonna go as fast as possible. Let's imagine you're using RG3 nodes. First of all, if you don't know RG3 nodes, it enables you to do things like this. Uh, it also enables you to turn on or off certain of your groups. So in this case, for example, let's imagine I want to enable or disable free UV2 uh, just to test the output to see what it looks like. So what you do is you place a fast group bypasser. Bypass is different than mute. So for if you muted the free UV2, of course it would fail because it would pass incorrect model information to your case samplers. But by bypassing it like so, you get the output you expected. The node is disabled and if I queue it, we can see that the images will change. Yes, it worked and it put a strange man in the back of my photo. So we're going to try not to focus on this too much. Anyway, the point being that if you wanted your fast group bypasser to only contain the groups that you wish to mute, I realized it's actually really easy. You simply right click it. You go to the properties panel. You select match color and you type the color of the groups you want to include. And there you go. And of course, make sure that you set the color of the group you wish to bypass to the correct type. And to do so, if you're not familiar, choose edit group and then select color yellow. And RG3 will automatically update itself. It's really, really useful. And then it allows you to create multiple group switchers. So for example, you could name this global modifications or whatever. I'm just uh, <laughs> creating some titles on the fly here. And of course, you go back to the property panel. Let's say we only want to see the blue ones. Press enter. And this is interesting, by the way, if you don't know the names of the color, they're listed here. And here we're going to take the color blue. And if you wanted to organize your muters, you could simply copy paste this one, go to properties. Actually, it's easier in the property panel and change the match color, not to blue, but to pale blue, because you see that's different. And now you can, of course, change the title, call it something else. We're going to call it test two. And now I have two separate panels that control things independently from each other. Really cool. Love those nodes.